Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Naledi here and I am starting you guys off with the mess. That is my kitchen because I just came back now from doing a little bit of shopping for like organization and it literally feels and looks like my kitchen exploded. I've already done a haul on this video. It is the last video I posted for 2022 and i did a haul on all the things that i purchased so i just washed all these glasses and everything that i bought and they've just been you know laying upside down on the counter since um i did that video and then today i'm going to show you guys the things that i bought from pip home i went to musgrave as i had said in the last video that in the last vlog rather that i was going to be going to uh, pep home in musgrave so i went there and i was able to pick up quite a lot of organization stuff yeah i bought some books as well the nice like thick and chunky books and guys i know i've been hiding the space but i finally have the courage to show it because i am going to be doing a, a sort of like a mini kitchen makeover so i bought this lazy days easy summer cooking um cookbook Okay, this is by Philippa Shevitz West Coast Weekend and it looks just like that. I didn't even flip through the book, but as I'm flipping through it now, I think I'm going to enjoy recreating most of the things that are on here. They seem quite um, friendly, um, amateur friendly that is, and very, very foolproof. And then I bought this brunch um, cookbook by Rachel Lee. It was on sale. As you can see, well, I bought these books at Bargain. Yeah, Bargain Books. I don't know why I said CNA. Uh, I remember I didn't buy anything. I wanted journals from CNA, but I didn't find anything. Um, it does have like a sleeve, but the book itself is exactly the same as the sleeve. Um, but I think I'm, I am going to take off the sleeve because it does have stickers. And um, as soon as I try peeling them off, I know they're going to give me a problem. So I might just take off the sleeve. So that is all that I got from Bargain Books. Um, also in Musgrave. And then I have got quite a lot of things at Pep Home. I spent like close to 900 rands. And if you know Pep Home, Pep Home is very, 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 very cheap. So yeah, um, I got this uh, pig bag. And I also got some more pigs because I do need more pigs. Uh, this bag was 26 rands, by the way. I already ripped the tab off. I almost forgot to do a haul. And I also got some, uh, these hooks. These acrylic hooks for my voil curtains that I, I, I also showed in the previous vlog. And I also got these gliders. I got three bath towels. Um, in the shade Dusty Pink. Uh sort of like natural nude beige color and then classic white these are face cloths and then i got this um hook this is a door hook over door hook here i got these um kitchen organizers these are cap hooks right and these are like under cabinet under cabinet cap hooks i got them in black um the reason why i got black things is because i wanted to match with the brackets that are already existing in the kitchen i also got some wine glass racks and i got three of the wine glass racks because my friend is giving is bringing me a gift um one of these days and she did mention that i'm sorry guys i feel like i am overexposed let me yeah okay that makes sense um she did mention that she bought me some champagne glasses and I also bought wine glasses. Um, so I needed something to organize these glasses. I didn't want to put them in the cupboard and I didn't want them to be on the shelf. And then um, I also got some contact paper. Um, these are like marble contact paper. It looks very, very cheap. I don't know how it's, how long it's gonna last. It is from Pep anyways, um, but I'm gonna try it out. If this fails, I'm gonna order some marble contact paper online. I did see a store that sells um, contact paper that looks very 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 good so i'm hoping this holds up um i don't know i will test it out and see i'm gonna use this for my countertops my countertops are currently black and i do not like it oftentimes i find myself wiping it down quite a lot because it tends it tends to look a little bit um unclean because obviously there has been tenants living here before and it looks quite ashy and patchy so I also got some organization jars. I got two of this size, I believe. I got one very long one for my spaghetti. And I got 
a short one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just unwrap them so I can see what I've got so that I can give you guys accurate information of all the things that I bought. Uh, okay, so this is the small one that I got, the one that I just showed you guys. This is the medium size one that I got. And then I also got one very, very, very long one um yeah i got two of these ones i got this one small one and one very long long one um i wanted smaller ones as well for like my sugar and stuff and my tea but they didn't have them in the pep home that i went to however i did see these from bargain basket um when i went there the other day so let's get to organizing Okay, so I am starting off with a clean um, countertop uh, or rather empty countertop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sponge and soap uh, and I am going to wipe down the countertops properly. I'm going to scrub them off of any residue and, I'm, and any oil. I'm going to wipe down the backsplash um, because there is some oil over here from cooking, I believe. Um, so I'm going to scrub everything down and I am going to ensure that it is nice and dry before I start um, putting on the contact paper. And yeah, let's get right into it. work is done I'm going to now go ahead and put on the contact paper
Okay, so this is what it is now looking like. By the way, this is a metal frame right here at the bottom. Hence, there's that black strip going down there. But this is what it's looking like. Listen, it is in no way, shape or form perfect. I absolutely hate the pattern. So I'm definitely going to be changing it. But it will do for now. It is better than that black countertop situation that was going on. And when you come closer, you definitely see some perfections. Um, there's also still some bubbles that I need to like uh, pop out. Otherwise, this is what it is looking like. I really don't like the design. It's too busy for my liking. I like something a little bit subtle. So I'm definitely going to be changing it. That's one of the reasons too. This contact paper is a nightmare to work with because it is so flimsy and light. So it kept breaking in some places, like as you can see here. Um, literally, I, I, I tried my best, but it's just... I'm not happy with it at all and I had to cut it so many times because the width of it is short how if okay so yeah I got lazy by the edges and I just did whatever but I think this will do for now it is so much better than it looks so much more um clearer than the white contact paper that um than the black quartz that was here so I'm very much happy about that I need something that's less white a bit more on the creamy side my ring light is over here but i need something that's a bit more on the creamy side compared to this in the meantime though i'm gonna go ahead and style up this place <laughs> everything is somewhat put together i still want to create like a coffee station over there 
um, so this is gonna be filled up in the near future um, I do want to find a nice beautiful white kettle to go into that space and then I'm gonna put a nice tray with like canisters then I'm gonna get wooden spoons to fill in the corner there at the back otherwise this is my kitchen guys I think it looks so cute and so chic what I do want to get though is um, the caulk um, in the color white so that I can caulk all the way on the edges to cover up the white silicone. Other than that, I think it looks so cute. It looks so cute and clean and just, it's so me. Like it is really, really just so me. Simple, fresh, neutrals, whites. Yeah, this is my kitchen. It gives me so much joy to prepare food in here. Um, I did mention that I'm going to change the countertops because I don't really like this um, contact paper. Um, now that I've had the opportunity to live with the design, I don't mind it. But the quality of it is rather um, cheap. So I am going to order some marble contact paper online from Craftings. I think that's the name of the store, if I'm not mistaken. If not, I'm going to get one from Builder's Warehouse because at least I know that one also is good quality. But I am going to change the kind of paper. Other than that, I am so happy with the way that this turned out, you guys. Uh, it, 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 come on, it brightens up the space. It makes it so much more roomier and just inviting to just make food so yeah they still have one more diy project that is to build a cabinet that's going to go right next to the door and that's going to house my um my two plate stove because i do have um, um those portable stoves um so i'm gonna put that on top of a small cabinet. i'm gonna build a nice cabinet for it um one that's going to be able to slide a bin on the side and then have like a wine rack on the other end because i do not want to keep wine either here or there and then right there at the top i'm planning on getting a nice cascading plant um probably an ivy or something i don't know i'll see which plant i can get preferably a live plant um, but i'll see which one can um, survive in this space i still need to live in the space a little bit longer to understand like different temperatures um just how much lighting that this particular corner is going to be getting because that is where my fridge is going to be moving to um yeah but i will show you guys as i go obviously and i will walk you guys through everything but for now i will end this video here thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up down below and also comment and tell me what was your favorite part about this decor and what would you do differently or what would you add um give me some tips and tricks on how to uh, um better modify this space if you feel like there's something that i could add a little bit do feel free to let me know and be like okay you know actually you should try adding one two three maybe i think you will love it because i think you guys pretty much understand my style so yeah that is it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>